Y'all want to talk about that? <laughs> oh, y'all don't want to talk about that. You took two shots? I did take two shots of mezcal. Mm. Ooh. My first time drinking since your wedding. Oh my. Very really? really good. No. No. Was your wedding first or my brother's? Your brother's was first and then you came to mine. After. Yeah, I think yours. No, Unless I'm forgetting something. My man. Yeah. On a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> on a Wednesday after. I I was just saying that my brain wasn't working, so I felt like I needed a shot, but like I don't also don't want to sound like an alcoholic. No, um, it's okay. I like an hour before we started recording, I was like, my brain's not working today and I don't know what to do. And normally alcohol just kind of gets rid of that. It's like a jump start. It feels so bad for me to say that for it coming out of my mouth that I just need that to just like clear my mind. Well, it's a problem. You didn't even know where the alcohol was in your house. Exactly. So that's a good yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, where's the alcohol again? That's no, you're right. That is good. Yeah, you're good. You know, Will we start drinking again damage. on this damn podcast though? Once you're done with this health kick, because I want to be oh, able to start drinking. Oh, he's on the set. I was My just man. I was Look at our old episodes. Matt, All the good times just, we had were hammered. Mariah, what was I saying last night? Uh, what was I saying last night? You were saying a lot of things. What, but what was one thing I said? I'm that bringing, you want to start drinking. I'm bringing drinking yeah. back on the podcast. Yeah. I felt it was just fun. Please. I just, I just I just forgot about the cameras when I was like drinking and I just want that feeling to come back. Cause like right now I just feel like we're on like the morning show and I'm just like, <laughs> you know, uh, we're live. Yeah. And I just like, there's, I just can't make a mistake. And that's why I'm just so like on edge drink. all the time. And I just want to like, just do a little smack, you know? Okay. Right. Smack just, is cocaine. That's, 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 oh, oh, I mean like. I Are, thought the smack was like the smack about like smack the wine bag. Oh, smack, smack a little goon, Our slap stockings. the bag. Oh, oh, wait, did that sag as we were? As no, we were, I just looked over at it. It wasn't like that when we started recording. It definitely I, was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think roll it the was. tape. I think it was. Roll the tape. Ba, 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 ba. Y'all want to talk about that? <laughs> Let's roll the intro, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> I drank drunk? too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. It's, it's coming time, baby. Wow! Hola, cómo está? Welcome back to Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are Unfiltered. Como estas? How's everybody doing today? What? We be uh, in. We be in. Good. Very good. E2. Um, how's everybody's week been? Honestly, pretty good. Um, I, I'm, I doing, like I'm doing all right. I partied oh. all weekend because everyone's having all their Christmas parties. You know, it's that weekend right before everyone starts leaving town. There's Did Christmas a bunch parties? of that. I went to a Christmas party, I swear, every freaking night this past weekend. And now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling damn sick, man. I don't feel good. I don't have COVID. Like sick as in like, oh, no. I, I thought you just meant like it was sick. Just like sick of everything. No, dude. Oh, my throat, you feel run my down? My throat feels like sandpaper. My nose feels on fire. I don't feel the need to cough, but I'm just like, all I want to do is crawl up and die. You know what helps? I do this. And now I do this every time. Uh, um... Exercise, a healthy diet. I've exercised in. every day this week. I've been on a fucking grind. No, that's good. That's good. I want to. Do, go do you still work out every day? Um, uh, I started working out last. I worked out every day last week, and then worked out every day up to this week. Oh, that's good. Um, but it was my first time in like a month. I hadn't worked out since my so, wedding. So you've been to uh, quite a few Christmas parties. Uh, yeah, have, quite a lot. Have you heard of any? I haven't heard of any. I haven't heard of any. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are missing out on all the invites. Yeah, but no, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I like staying. I've been loving staying in. Oh, it's it's been, it's been. I'm just getting old very quickly. <laughs> it's been nice. Like when I wake up on a Saturday or a Sunday, and I'm just like on my mm. bed, and I'm just like not hungover. It's just like fuck. Oh, but then I love a Sunday I where you do nothing because you're so hungover. I'll be right back though. Like when February March hits. I'm going to get crazy again. Oh, okay. I think it's usually the summer months, right? Or no, it's spring. Sorry. Sp like from March to August, I think is when like I really lose myself. And then, and then I get back on track. Right. I think cause your birthdays. You do like alcoholic hibernation. <laughs> that was real funny. Huh, Yo, but, but when Christmas break rolls around and you're spending time with your friends and family, I'm drinking every day. Oh, really? You see, every I'm day. the opposite. I feel like I don't like with my family. I don't like need to drink or like friends from back home. I don't need a drink. Oh, really? Yeah. I think my parents love when I come into town because they're excited because they get to drink every day because we're around. Yeah, that makes like, sense. I don't know. I like drinking with my parents. Yeah. A lot. No, no. And I do too. But like there's it, it doesn't like it doesn't just 
it doesn't come up. What yeah. do your parents like go to drinks? Like if they're get, if they're making them. My mom is a, drink, a mojito gal. Mojito, like at home, like private no, no, no. little. So oh, they, okay. they don't drink at home. Like if my dad does, it'll be like after cutting the grass, he'll have a beer. Okay. But if they go out, my mom will get like a mojito. And my dad will just get some sort of beer. Okay. My mom's a margarita gal. Margarita. Yeah. I th- just classic, y- skinny, uh, salt on the rim. I think just classic. I'm trying to think of any. My mom used to be a big fan of Smirnoff Ice. Ooh. Oh, Like yeah. she would drink that religiously. She and I. Oh, it's funny looking back because now it's like nobody drinks that, unless right? Unless you're and it, icing somebody. Unless you're icing somebody. But like no one's coming with a pack of Smirnoff Ice. It just doesn't happen anymore. Especially since like. When, have you ever like when they you are drink, good though? Is they it, are good, but when you drink sugar, it, is it real super sugar? Sweet. There's not like fake sugar. It feels in like it. you're drinking like a bag of cotton candy. It yeah. just, it's just it's just so heavy. You're drinking like oh god, and drinking a whole six pack. But my mom would drink that religiously, and that's the beer that I would I used to sneak into high school. <laughs> hey guys, with Smirnoff Jeez. Ice. I put it in a bottle, one beer. One smart advice, thinking that sharing that was it, going sharing to sharing it with like six friends. Uh, <laughs> and what, like, are you feeling? Isn't it? that crazy? <laughs> Freaking one beer in a water bottle. Take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> that's why I got bullied. They're probably they're probably like Zane. That's so sick. They'd all go home and be like, "What smart the hell?" Ice. The fun, all taking shots. Didn't even know what shots were yet. I do love like the red, white, and blue smeared off ice though. Like the rocket pop mm. smeared off ice. Didn't, never heard oh, of them. Oh, they have them around like 4th of July times, I think. Remember Mariah, Pinnacle? My life used to be, <laughs> my life used to be hell because of Pinnacle. Pinnacle was the move. Is God. it was whipped cream Pinnacle? Yes. Yeah, yeah, look at all the flavors. That's the, the one I remember. The spins that would put you through. <laughs> My God, I miss it every day. Oh, Boy, go going to bed would be like riding Shikra. Exactly, you would just be because Zane was drinking cake. Pinnacle. Oh no, no, no! I was I was going hard, and the because of the people that I were drinking with, it was I was always crossfaded. This shit, I would drink that, and I always have that that mm. blunt right with it. <laughs> that blunt right with it. <laughs> that blunt right with it. And yeah, it dark seems times. like these brands just create like these alcohol brands are made just for underage drinking like yeah. who's an adult yeah. going out and buying pinnacle i don't like, you'll be surprised i think a lot of people i think middle Honestly, america i think my mom would be like oh wow a lot the, of middle the america strawberry shortcake like, vodka drink that <laughs> like, shit you know like, what i mean mm, yeah maybe there are more people my mom's drink. top cabinet so my stepdad's shit was all like whiskey and you know that type of shit and then my mom's shit would be like flavored vodka flavored to get like flavored Shit yeah. where she didn't have to really mix it I, with anything. I get it because my mom like loves Malibu. Oh, like, I love Malibu Malibu's too. So Even good. though I never, I never drink it, but I'll, I love it. Yeah, they, lo- they like that sweet stuff. Ooh, yeah, that's nice, Malibu. Oh my god, I, f- I feel like I'm betraying Happy Hour guys. Happy Hour Tequila Seltzers are also amazing, yeah, which yeah, yeah. you could buy at any uh, Venmo, uh, ben- Bevmo, Bevmo, <laughs> and uh, Ralph's. Where else is it at? Uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Total Wine. We're out here. We're in Texas. We're in Florida. Uh, all over New York. Yeah. Um, Kentucky. Very good. Yeah, you can places. make sure you get yourself a pack, especially I love for the winter times. Bevmo is such a great store. Have you been in a Bevmo? Um, they get, they hook you up with like you join the Bevmo club, which is free. You get it like at a sales like a sale price. Yeah, the employees are so nice. They have such a great collection and selection of seasonal brews. Is I it, love Bevmo. Is it pretty much like the Sam's Club of alcohol? It's not like you're not buying it wholesale, but they just carry like a lot of stuff that normally you wouldn't get at like Ralph's or your typical grocery yeah. store. So yeah. It is crazy just a whole store like that big dedicated to just alcohol. Yeah, baby. Has, yeah. has anybody crazy. tried real moonshine? No. I, I've seen like the gas station ones where it says moonshine, but that's not real no. moonshine. Oh, that, right? so that isn't real moonshine. No. Like no. Those, this, this shit with like the strawberries in it. It's like You're it's like, like no. elite you can't buy it at a store. Like it's something where somebody you has to make to in make their backyard. It. Yeah. Uh but no, I don't think I've ever had real moonshine. If you watch the process of it, it is the most terrifyingly beautiful scientific thing I've ever seen. That was okay. Three crazy words that you just put together. Like you watch it and you're what? like, how, first of all, how does anybody figure this out? Why would you even drink this in the first place? Isn't it like over 100% alcohol? Like, isn't it's, it a crazy like, amount of, you take like a few sips and you're like, 
you're like seeing shit. There's like copper piping. You let it evaporate. And then you like take that like evaporated water up top. And if you drink like that first one that comes out, you will die. And who, who sits there? Remember the movie uh, Euro Trip? Yes. What they drank and then she like made out with her twin brother? Yes. That was, uh, that was, I believe. Or was that was, like absent? No, that was absent. But like, I think that's, it, Moonshine is that same world as absent. Where like, it's like a borderline psychedelic. Like it's I just, think it's just so potent. Just very, and, very potent, yeah. Yeah, it's absurd. Do you just I, take one shot of it and then you're like, fine? I think you just have one sip and you are in trouble. Damn. And that's just, that takes some like serious engineering okay. for someone to be that le heavy of like an alcoholic and like addicted to a 190 moonshine. proof. And what's it? What's a normal? I don't know my proofs very that well. What's like maybe 30? Oh my gosh. Yeah. How just much did death. we spend? I still to this day, remember you and me? On had, the cruise? Yes. You and me had a shot of Louis the 18th or whatever that the most expensive. Oh yeah. It was like what? $500 a shot or something? No. Like something ridiculous. So it was absurd. And we were laughing about about it because the price was for a half of a shot yes it wasn't a full shot and is that I, it yes uh, we had a drink of that Louis 13 yes but, but yeah the louis the 13th but the five thousand dollar bottle it was insane uh so we were looking at the price that they had listed and we were like there's no way anybody's buying this there's no reason but we were laughing because like we had to try it like just to get it out of our system almost. Yes, because so we kept looking at the damn sign. We all split a half of a shot. You and me split a half a shot. Yeah, and we were just like, it just didn't make any How sense. How much money was that, though? Was I it think it was $350. Shit! On, for half of a shot, I'm we did that? Sure. Yeah. Oh, God, I thought it was cheap. Okay, but I guess split, it wasn't that bad. It was fun for the memory. Can this cruise, and I know they can get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, this is very illegal, but like, why do I feel like so many people do it and they can get away with it? Especially for like a part... Of a anyways, imagine they had this bottle, right? And they just filled it with some cheap, like just something similar to it. Or people that are like, it's like, all right, imagine like our us. first time tasting it, we couldn't compare it to something. exactly. So why do I feel like when people like us come come up and they're like, oh my god, we want to try that? All he's got to do is just pull like his like backup that's not actually Louis the, Louis the Thirteenth and pour a set. You know what I mean? He could, but that's so risky to do that. Like, cause like if someone did catch you and busted you for that, you'd, you'd be in some serious trouble. I think he want he wants it to be real because also some people maybe really know their taste and they do know what the real thing is and they're going to pay it. That's true. You're I, right. Yeah. I, no, no, no. That I was mean, kind of a, yeah, that if was you kind wanted of a to do, pull reach. a perfect con job, that would be a way to do it. But like, you just have to bank on that, the that your patrons are right. going to be that dumb. I'm sure they yeah. could have done it to us because we were like, <laughs> yeah, yes. what, is, what do you think it tastes it like? It could have been anything, and you I know? would have been like, ooh, this is nice. That would have been a good joke. If he gave you like that first shot and it wasn't, it was just like Jack Daniels, and then he, and gave, we're like, then he was so like, you know good. what? This is actually it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me as a bartender. I would do that. Um. Oh, guess what, guys? What? Tell me, Zane. What is it? <laughs> I got. <laughs> I just got summoned for a jury duty. Really? Yeah. Wait. This is the first time you've gotten it. My first time. Guess what I did with it? Threw it away. No, you didn't, Threw Zane. Oh, my man. Well, I guess y'all. The first time you do it, I think you can do that. But your second time, you cannot do that. I'm not doing it. You know why? I'm not a good person to judge a, someone else's like trial. Like I'm just not good at it. Mm. And I'm just, a, I, I, and I'm also a liability, right? Because anything that happens in that courtroom, I'm going to bring right back to the podcast. I'm, I'm and they're not going to want that. <laughs> I'm they're surprised not he didn't that. just do it because he thought he would be on the next show. You know, right. he probably, in my head, you would read it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm they're They're filming season two. I should probably do this. But you know what? They would do that. Maybe. Should I do it? Um, Wait, can, uh, he's like, the go, thing is that, Leah, go here, through the trash. Here's, here's the thing. Look, I know it's like my duty as like an American or whatever the fuck. It's my duty <laughs> yes, it's to true. like do jury duty. But what if this shit just goes for a really long time? And you can't like pull out. Okay, Zane, you, the thing is you have to, you get summoned. You have to go to basically this mini audition thing 
where auditions you, yes they get everybody around and they'll start asking questions to see who's mentally sane enough oh, that's perfect. when you go and you wear your like i'm gonna come t-shirt oh, do, oh then, can i say like oh i'm just uh, i'm i uh, you should just say i want someone to go to jail today like i am all for the death Book penalty em, baby yeah you just say i don't want to i don't want to make it too i, I kind of want to say oh my god i have a podcast i can't wait to talk about this sure yeah you could say that and they'd be like oh maybe you're not the best person for it oh nice okay. so that's what you have to do but now that you've said no the first time they're still gonna hit you back up again asking you to have do you ever it. done jury duty um i have been summoned and then when i like put in my information they go okay check this website every single day for the next couple oh. days and then we'll ask you when to come in. I did that all the four or five days. Yeah. And I never had to go in. And I'm done. So I'm out of the system. Oh, oh wow. Zane, Unless like. Zane, you're good. So in order to get out of doing jury duty, you have to have a physical or mental impairment. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good. No form of transportation. You would have to travel okay. a long distance to attend the court date. Yeah, that shit's far. Or, it's, like, it's like a. It's like or a provide uh, care for a dependent and cannot afford to pay for care. But at the same but what time, if it's like the next like OJ trial or something? You know? Yeah, but then that's even worse. I then know. That's, really like the, that's the last you thing I want to be You want to be, be in of. one where you can get it done in a week. If you're part of a huge national trial, that sucks. That sucks. But it sounds exciting in the moment. And then you're just like, after you're in there, you're like, this <laughs> but is if, going to take If you months. had a typical nine to five job where you really fucking hated going to work. Yeah. And you had an kind opportunity to really really go yeah. to jury duty. I mean, hell. like Yeah. Because they cover your pay, right? Yeah, and I think they feed you and like... I, I, this might sound like just so unrelatable. I don't know. I If I was able to like come back and talk about it and just trust everybody watching and listening that they're not going to like, you know, talk about it, <laughs> that would be awesome. Like it, just doing it and then doing my duty, like sitting there and actually listening and participating and coming back and being able to talk about it, but it just like doesn't go anywhere further than the epi yeah. than the viewers listening and you guys i think you, I, I would i would do it in a heartbeat you know what I'd goes so down in jury duty though right like you go yeah. into a room and all i know you i know have to sit there and collectively agree yeah on the decision before you can go out yeah which is it can take hours forever baby i've seen jury duty yeah <laughs> the, <laughs> that's how i know i've seen the I show i've I, seen the show i don't really understand the whole you have to collectively agree yeah kind of takes away the point of you should have your own opinion about it i know but like they have to the thing is that they have to collectively make a decision they can't just each make a decision okay but what if one person doesn't agree it just keeps going and going yeah, and going yeah. until that one person caves and doesn't technically agree well i i don't think it is exactly but i think that it just leads to more conversation and talking about it and discussing. I think that's what you should see the movie. That's 12, the whole point. 12 angry men. Have you ever heard of I've it? I've heard about it, but I, I but, haven't oh, seen it. It's a great like airplane movie because it's just all takes place in this courtroom, but these guys go in and agree and have to vote. Cause there's this kid who's getting convicted and thinks that they, he murdered like his neighbor. And originally everybody is saying guilty, guilty, guilty. And one guy goes not guilty. And they're like, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, we all want to get out of here. And then he goes back around and he explains his argument and slowly by surely everybody starts seeing what this guy's point uh, is. It's a great movie, but yeah, it's kind of intense. Like It is crazy that decisions are based off of random people yeah. that are just in the courtroom listening. That's insane. Knowing my fate is up to the... <laughs> it's insane. And like, we, we all know how people are in the end of the day. Like, they're... You could, you like, you know how they vet people or they get rid of people yeah. that are, you know how easy I feel like it is to probably just bypass that and sit there and just knowing that your, your decision is locked on somebody bec just because of anything, just because of who they are, like what they look like or their mm -hmm. skin color or anything. You can still bypass that and there, you can still judge somebody by that. I think that's crazy. Just like random people. If I was a jury duty, my biggest weakness, it was, I would be too like animated listening to the people talk. Like after a lawyer be like, and this is why he did not commit the murder. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> burr, 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 burr. I'd be like, Ooh, I think, okay. I mean, I think it should or, like uh, come down to, you know, like the Supreme court, they have like judges yeah, and they're like, they, they're the ones that make the decision. I think that's just how they should set it up too. And I think, I, I know that's like, there's a way they can do it where it's not just random ass people. It's people that are experienced and have seen or have uh, seen a lot of different situations that I feel like should make that decision. Not random ass people that you're mm -hmm. grabbing out of just their normal everyday life to do this job. And 
You know what's and expect wild? them to is that the lawyer who is fighting for the person, like if they did it and they know that the uh-huh. person did it, they got to go up there and lie and fight against mm-hmm. that too. That is fucking wild insane to me. That's crazy. And, it's, and, and after that's after they know. Like I couldn't be a lawyer. Know that you murdered somebody. I would like, never. If I would you quit. killed a child, and I had to go up there and be like, "He didn't do it for this reason, this reason, this reason." I, I as a person would not be able to do that. But it's not even th- this person didn't do it. You would come up with an excuse why it was okay for him to do it, and why you should lower his sentence because he had to because of this. Yeah, because it happened, right? But they would come up with excuses and like. But if if they there was no proof. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if it was up to like because everyone has a right to uh to be yeah, defended. Yeah, people like have the right to yeah, a speedy trial. Like have the right to It's crazy. Have it. I know it is wild. But wild. that's also a good that's also a good lawyers here to argue both ways. They got to teach you that. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers, baby. Exactly. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Honestly, Prize Picks is the most fun we've had because we're winning up to 25 times our money this football season, and now we can play during basketball season too. And Prize Picks is bringing your gifts early this year with 12 days of Pixmas. Starting December 14th, there will be a new promotion every single day for new and existing customers. The daily promotions will range from payout boosts to discounted projections. Phoenix Suns' Kevin Durant only needs one point on Christmas Day to make you a winner when placing an NBA entry. And Price Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. That's right, baby. Price Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Baby, if you got the skills, you could turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. And it's the quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types that make Price Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. And now they even offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football season. So if you're ready to give it a shot, all you got to do is go to prizepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, make sure to go to prizepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. So get out there and pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Thank you so much, Prize Picks, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. Um, what I, else is I, I'm new? not going to lie. I'm not only very drunk, but I think I blacked out. The whole it's, time it's I heading? was talking. Yeah, did I make sense at all? Yeah, when I was you talking? were good. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. His tolerance uh, went down. <laughs> My tolerance went down by a lot. Dude, I took like baby steps too. Have you seen the guy that makes food at like hotels? Uh, Like a chef? No, or he's wait. just this random oh. dude, but he'll like cook meals it, without traditional means of cooking, like no grill. Like he'll like grill a steak with a hair dryer in a hotel room oh, and do no. like this isn't the dorm room is this like guy i've seen the guy who has like the pot in his dorm and like will make lobster like in his bed there yeah there's people that are doing it but the guy will like go into hotels and things like that but he just did one where he was on a plane oh finita was talking about this go on and he goes into the bathroom on the plane brings like this battery thing with these connectors and he starts boiling shrimp in the sink and cooking like mashed potatoes, shrimp, and then he puts it in the barf bag to bring back to his seat. Hell, no way. Watch, watch this cooking process. Oh my God, this is a real plane. Oh no. That, so he, bro, has, he has- that's so like, imagine- How do you get on the plane with that stuff? Y- Exactly. And wait, you can, can we pause bring, this? You can bring batteries can on the plane. You just can't have it in your checked bag. Heath, you know the amount of chaos that would cause if someone caught him just that. I know. Just that on the bathroom sink. Because that looks like- I would freak the fuck out. Like what? It, it, it almost just looks like a bomb that yeah. he's creating. In yeah. the- but who's not smelling like sous vide shrimp? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Ah! Look at him seasoning. Ah! I w- that is disgusting. I wouldn't even eat that Ew, afterwards. It doesn't what? matter how well you clean that sink. That's fucking disgusting. I I'm so curious what flight he took to make this happen. He had to have gone on With like it. that's 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 Delta. <laughs> it's Delta. I can tell. 
and then brings it back. To uh, he opens it up and like, can you imagine just a person <laughs> on the other side going, what are you doing in there? That is wild. Psst, psst. Get the- get the- I'd love eating garlic shrimp and mash. Man, imagine, man, imagine you're on the sea door and you look over and you see him. <laughs> You just see him film this whole thing. Oh, absolutely not. Bro. Disgusting. I wanted to think that he had like staged this shit. That is that is awful. Shame on him. Okay, but I can't look, even believe he's showing his face. Look, obviously in his head, he was like, this is going to get insane views because this is crazy. Yeah. Right? Cooking a meal in the bathroom sink on an airplane. If I thought of this, I probably would have done it. I'm not I, think, lie. I, I think I, there I, was another one where they opened the toilet and like laid like kind of like a grilling rack and like grilled something <laughs> in the toilet w- with like meat on top oh fuck as like no. a like a, a wait grill. was the rack like between the the toilet Across seat the and toilet, the- yes <laughs> he's like got a rotisserie going on just right, you are not that hungry that you need to make a meal on the flight no <laughs> you'll get hungry in, you get hungry in economy <laughs> <laughs> The bitches take a long fucking time to get to you. And then you don't even really get a meal. You get like snacks. I get it. It's, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> He's so excited. How excited he is. It's just God. that double battery pack. That's. Yeah. yeah I'm surprised scary. that you can like just take that on a plane. But I guess it's a battery. It's okay. It looks like stuff to make a bomb though. You know when they're like lithium ion batteries. Do you got it in there? I'm like. I don't. That is definitely dumb. worse than a lithium ion battery. <laughs> Patricia had this suitcase that I was just borrowing, and they go, lithium ion battery? I'm like, nope. She goes, well, let's. what's this? And she presses this button, and a whole battery comes out of the side. So why uh, Why do they put the batteries in the, these brand new suitcases when they're not allowed? I'm not sure, because it's like these charging ports that they build into the luggage, but every time I go there, they're like, we don't accept so these. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's checked bags can't have batteries. Okay. Carry-ons, you're allowed to have batteries. Weird, because it's all going to the same place. I think it's just a safety thing. Like if something like all the bags below the plane, like if something happened to the battery, it exploded, it caught fire down there. It's probably harder to, you to, you just won't know to get to or something like that. But if, you know, a battery exploded on the, probably be scarier if somebody next to you's battery popped. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess it would be easier to solve the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Saw 11 was just announced yesterday that, uh, or Saw just announced yesterday that they're making another movie. Ooh. Are you going to be in it? I don't know. I'm doing my best. I am. I am working. But you know, whatever, like I know the guy, uh, the producer said all that on the thing, but it doesn't promise anything. You know, that's just how it is. But I am. That would be sick. I just. I just want my, I imagine seeing my name somewhere in the credits. I would have a panic Just seeing attack. your name in, in uh, credits is pretty just cool. Something, even as an extra, even as j- like janitor or water passer, just something, you yeah. know? I'll make it work. Is McDo- oh, McDonald's is putting out like a new restaurant called Cosmics? Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. So what is it? Like it's. It's basically like a Dutch bro. It's a drink shop. Oh, oh, so it's that's not about it the is. burgers. Yeah. So it's going to be like a, a drive through drink place to get like coffees and... Um, I think the one in Illinois opened. Oh, really? I think so. I'm super excited for it because I do, we love beverages. Like all we want to do is just have like a new beverages drink. Beverages are like a place that makes a ton of beverages. And they're all fun. like uh, energy uh, Sour cherry and, energy burst. Yeah. Island pick me up punch. Blueberry ginger boost. Ooh, ever since Panera Bread, I don't know if you should be make, be making any energy burst drinks. That's true. In a place um, like that. I'm just I'm super excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool. Hot damn! That does look kind you of know, fun. I'm surprised that McDonald's didn't come out with something like this already, just because they're doing so well. You know, they have so much they're money to take make something over with this. The cosmics? cosmics? You, you, think, you think you don't so? think it won't be like a trend? It's going to come and go really fast. No, uh, because it, of how many they've already said that they're opening. How many are they opening? They want to do over 50,000. 50,000? 50,000. What? Whoa. How many McDonald's are in the U.S.? Oh, millions. Wait, millions? There's like at least a million. Wait, millions? Really? Is that too bold to say? I think so. Here, 
40,000. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, what do I know? But wait, they're going to put more Cosmics than, than McDonald's? McDonald's? I don't know, man. Dude, I'm terrible with numbers. No, no, no. I am. I just know that was way off. Like, do you like think no you way. could go into a room? I like. I'm always fascinated by people who can look Guessing at like uh, like if they're, you're at a party and go, how many people do you think are in this room? And someone will be like a hundred, oh. or someone goes, oh, a hundred. I'm so and bad forty. At that. Like, it's yeah, it's crazy. People have even that if ability. you showed me two rooms and you're like one seventy, one's a hundred. Which one? I, I couldn't even like. Even if you gave me five seconds, I couldn't tell you which one it was. It's like the it's like the jelly bean jar. Yes, yeah, yeah. the jelly bean jar, man. It I, could be. 500 or 150,000 and I I couldn't tell you. I just don't have like the like the the brain for that. I just have to count. Make cosmics. Well is it like supposed no, no, to be cosmics? No, cosmics. cosmics. Oh. But cosmics. that's not that's not a bad name. Is it, really supposed good? To, is it supposed to be like like a play on like the cosmos like out of this world like It's it's named after the the cos the alien guy character. Hold on. There was an alien guy part of the... <laughs> Yo, they keep popping up. Grimace did not exist before yeah. a year ago. Yo, that guy, I do not remember him. I don't remember him either. Wow. I want to see what they do with... Uh... They're going to they're gonna do every character. I think you're right. The Grimace took off and they were like, this is it. We should yeah. do every character. Hamburglar Penitentiary. It's like <laughs> actual... <laughs> Weird. Ronald McDonald is just such a scary idea. Wait, the clown? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's when clowns that's, are like, like but that's kids a perfect killer. Like they should make an A twenty four movie <laughs> of said, Ronald McDonald being a like just murdering. It looks like Succession. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Hamburglar. Wait, I thought the Hamburglar was bur was part of Burger King. <laughs> no, Burger King. Why did I say it like that? Burger King. No, that's the Burger King is in Burger King. I know, but I thought it was Burger King and also a Hamburg a Hamburg Hamburglar. Oh. Love that they just like encourage and endorsing crime. <laughs> like, <laughs> our burgers are so good. You're going to steal them. You're going to steal them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, burger's so good, make you steal, boy. I don't blame the Hamburglar, though, you know. But, but they don't have any of those characters in anything for McDonald's anymore, right? They kind of got rid of them I in think all aspects. So I mean, they do. They stop. They stop getting rid of the the playgrounds. Once the playgrounds went, yeah. Starbucks has been trying to become like this, like grab and go place. They don't even want you sitting down at a McDonald's really? anymore. I I get the vibe. It's not a place of spending the day at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. everything's going super automated. Especially because order like, order ahead through the app, just getting DoorDash and all that. Yeah, that's like making people just want to like kind of chill. Did you, uh, I saw a TikTok, very interesting. I saw a TikTok where uh, a guy was talking about how this country um, uh, has, re there's no sense of a third place anymore. Uh-huh. Yes. Did you see I've that always one? always had this as a topic to and, bring up. Oh, do you remember, I don't remember exactly what he said. So like they're talking about oh, a yes, lot about yeah, the youth. I, I, so the I youth know. would always have, you have your home and you have your work or school. You have yeah. a place where you go. People love having a third place. And for the longest time in culture in America, your third place would be, the mall. Yeah. Since malls are dying down, people are at a loss of where their third place Somewhere like an escape be. to go to when you're not at home or work. Exactly. And there's no point of like, you know, going out to or like going to spend 20 bucks on a drink. You might as well just stay home yeah. and just invite somebody over. And there's so no just... sense of community outside of your work and home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I just found it really interesting because it, it has happened, especially in our time. Like even in high school, where there was, I feel like a sense of community. We could all meet up and hang out somewhere, mm -hmm. like every week. Mm -hmm. But I don't even know what high school kids are doing these days. Like, is there even a sense of? Or, or they just go home and they log on and. Or yeah, it's just it's it's so crazy. I feel like it also has that. to do with hobbies. True. I feel like your third place kind of revolves around your hobby. If you're into bowling, you're at the bowling alley or yeah, golf course, whatever it is. I feel like people don't really have hobbies like. They used to. Is it ex is bowling expensive? No, especially when you, I especially when you own your own ball and shoes. There's nothing to rent. You're just paying for your time, and I bet you already you can sign up for a membership where you get oh, yeah. the lanes for free. I think it's a great little hobby. The thing is though, it's like chess. Bowling's always fun until you're playing against someone who's really, really good, good at it, and then you're like, all right, guys. What's, what's nice cool <laughs> is bowling is kind of like golf, where you're only playing against yourself. Uh, like you're getting your own score. No, you're still playing against all the other people in bowling. Yeah, but yeah, like you're but still like still you're still yourself. playing. You're, you're still, still trying, trying to, to get better. Like every it's time. not yeah. it's not like somebody else's move determines your next one. Oh, good point. Right. You know, so it's, it's like golf. Kind yeah, of. you're yeah. literally like you're in a competition with yourself to get your own highest score. True. 
Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. You guys know the big Michigan versus Alabama game is happening on January 1st at the Rose Bowl. So I'm going to make sure you go to SeatGeek to find the best price tickets, baby. Mm -hmm. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app out there. Including the Rose Bowl, there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and much, much more. And with artists like Drake, the Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, and the 1975 all on tour right now, you're not going to want to miss that. And SeatGeek makes it super simple. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. And on top of that, each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal and red means it's not the best deal. And every ticket is backed by their and every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we came through with the discounts, baby. We sure did. All you got to do is use code sure UNFILTERED did. for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click the link mm -hmm. in our description to download the app today. Again, all you got to do is use code UNFILTERED for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you so much. And baby, happy holidays to you. Uh, did you guys watch uh, that last movie that came out on Netflix? The, oh, Leave, the world, Leave the world Behind? Yes. Did you like it? Uh, it, I, it was, I watched it, it a couple nights ago. It yeah. was a fun watch. I After watching that movie, I know it's just a movie, but it's crazy how much we all just rely on the internet, right? And technology like if, in general, If yeah. the internet were to just like kind of disappear, people would, it would slowly, it would, it would very quickly go from boredom to going insane losing it losing it and people never like needed the internet back then think about like fucking 30 years ago nobody was using the internet and everybody was like pretty fine but now you get rid of that mm -hmm. <laughs> it would literally flip upside down yeah Wars. just think about it i i'm curious how how long it would take for me to start going insane about it because if everyone's in the same boat and no one can have it then i'm yeah. like well no one else can get on it, so what am I getting so antsy about? Like, but the thing is that you you would though, because yeah. it's a it's a part of our everyday life, and we've been doing it for years. It's it's it'd be really hard to just like, oh, that's fine. It's not part of it's. It would only be easy for people that are not on their phones. Could, oh day. yeah, because you can't even call somebody. You can't do anything. No GPS. No, you could. You could. Well, you could. You could call right because no. signal unless well unless you have it's to have a, a house line. phone. Oh yeah, like, like a, a landline. Land line yeah, like if the power grid went down. Then oh well then that's bad. Is that what happened with the, in the movie? The power well, the grid went down, or like just the, the service internet? went down, internet went down, and then eventually, I think the power did go out. Yeah. Right? No, I don't think the power went, ever went out. Did it? It did. Well, no, it did in the middle of the night, like that one. Yeah. Night. Oh did. yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, I think power grid going down is where it gets real scary. Yeah. Because your fridge doesn't work. Your food's going bad. As soon as you're out of food people will be going wild and that's when like real stuff starts to pop so off crazy oh see i just movies like that sometimes just, i yeah. just i right now this moment in life we're like once i like have my own property uh -huh. then i'll get into prepping my own self but right now ignorance is bliss and i have to have faith that like nothing will that, go wrong that's so true because it's really hard to prepare for anything here yeah when you're it just feels no nope. <clears throat> just i i feel like just in it, it, just in the city in general it's just very hard i feel like to prepare but when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can like have a bunker and shit i think that's so easy yeah. to prepare for literally anything unless it's, there's so um, many people here just stacked on top of each other. It would be very difficult. Yeah. Um, but definitely, I think everybody should have food and water stocked up. Right. True. Just in case. If it starts getting bad, though, get me the fuck out of Los Angeles. I know, but at that time, the, the, by the, the think, moment that you're I like, you're, I need to get out of here, everybody's already thinking that, and trying to get out of here is already... A, so a lot of people, and I had the, the mindset of like a a get out bag or a get out plan. I think your best bet is to like stay in and ride the wave for a minute. Let the, you know, madness kind of like settle mm -hmm. and then get out. Because as soon as something happens, I feel like it's going to be gridlocked right. on the highway everywhere. You're not going to be able to do anything. People are just mm -hmm. going to be going crazy. Um, like stay in your home, protect your home for a little bit. And then I think the best plan is to get out after that. It always seems so fictional when we talk about this. Like I feel like I feel like a crazy person whenever we talk about 
this because it only sounds like it sounds like it only happens in movies but this could happen at any moment just out of nowhere and then you're just like oh i'm not prepared what the fuck are we gonna do mm-hmm. oh man now i'm thinking i need like <laughs> that's what i'm gonna ask for for christmas is like a bunker yeah, yeah. Just, just build me a bunker um, you can buy like survival packs i feel like on amazon too that like come with like, yeah everything. yeah remember that target video we did yeah <laughs> um there's a there's a couple few sites that have long term uh, food options, and I forget the website I used. I think it was my my Patriot Supply. Yeah. Um, I did their they have like a six month package. Okay. Um, I would love to be friends with a prepper who would like a, say, who would be my next yeah. door neighbor and say, Ethan's, "Hey, I feel like hey, you, you mind really if I build a bunker no. over into your Kevin, yard?" I'll be Kevin like, sure. Bacon's reaction though is exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. The guy that was doing it the entire time that warned people, oh, "Hey, but, get it, food," and then all of a sudden now shit pops off and you want to show up to his door. No, it, very realistic. When I saw it too, I was like, "That is so realistic." Because no. that exactly would that would happen with people that do are that are always prepared and that get made fun of. Yeah, for always being prepared, and then that's wanna... exactly the reaction that they would give. Yeah, no, I when I saw no. that, I was like, "Oh yeah." 100%. But I'm the personality hire. Like you, <laughs> you want you want to have you okay? You want to go spend the rest of your times out of that bunker? I'm I'm a good con uh, I'm a good conversation. We can play games. So, yeah. I got good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> you know the amount of money we can make after the, all this shit blows through. Yeah. I had the ideas that I have for us. I got ideas, man. Let Bis- me in. Business partner. <laughs> Put it right here. <laughs> yeah, look at that survival pizza. <laughs> Mariah's looking at what Mariah, she wants to she's get. She's already she already has three in her cart. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Zocdoc. Let's see a raise of hands. All right. Raise your hand if any of this sounds like you. I already know it's me. You obsessively follow the super credible health experts on TikTok. Mm -hmm. You take all the latest supplements your health mom recommends, even the ones that don't taste so great going down. Mm -hmm. You embrace the latest diet craze that your Mm -hmm. best friend swears by Mm -hmm. me, whether it's eating, no carbs, all the carbs, or only carbs that grow on trees. Yep. You follow your co-worker's nine-step skincare routine plus an eight-step hair grooming routine every night religiously. Mm -hmm. And if your hands are still raised, looks like he is still raised, I think it's time to uh, check out ZocDoc. Guilty. There are thousands of top-rated doctors on ZocDoc. They're all listed with verified patient reviews, so you can find and book a doctor who not only has years of experience and an actual medical degree, but also gets you. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments all online. Baby, we're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance are located near you and treat almost any condition you're searching for. And the average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between 24 to 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. And once you find that doc you want, you can book them immediately with just a few app taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. Ew. So if you're ready to try it out, all you got to do is go to ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Zane and Heath. Again, ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, ZocDoc, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. Six pizzas. Wait, six pizzas for $77. Not no. bad. Uh, but yeah, so they do it based on like uh, 2,000 calories a day. So it gives you. Oh, enough. I feel like I feel like you don't need that much calories a day. You could do like 1,500. To it's a just top. a good base. Like, Because I would imagine if this is happening, you're going to be doing a lot more physical work around the house. Than you normally would. You're going to need That's more true. energy for or food for energy. Have we talked about this? Uh, so I've been watching The Walking Dead lately and stuff. How down for survival are you, though? So, okay. Like, wait, wait, what do you okay. mean? Because, like, I'm watching The Walking Dead now. I'm on season five of this shit. Oh, so you're in Yo, okay. at that point, like, it just seems like they're running into misery after misery. You're prolonging the inevitable I am, is what you're thinking. I would doubt my my own will to survive. And if I know it's just going to be this dark for the rest of the way, I might just go, I'm checking out. And you just walk or, into that. Or are you like, <laughs> I must survive till the very last moment I can I think survive. it all t- like, is your desire to survive very I'm, I'm strong. I'm in it for survival. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think, I, I think just because I'd be so curious too. I want to keep living for the curiosity of what is going to happen. True. Too, because if, 
obviously, if you still have a family, you still have family, you still have kids, you want to keep on going for them. You want to protect them as long as you yes. can. But if you're by yourself at that point, I think it's just merely for entertainment. I just want to yeah. see what's going to happen. I And so, if I, if I'm able to live through this, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm one of the people that like actually survived this and- the the movie Leave the World Behind um was very biblical without being oh, big biblical. Time. Yeah. Um and I think it was also the power uh cyber attack thing, but also mixed with like the rapture. Mm hmm That's when the daughter though, she references that story from the West Wing where it's like the guy yep. is waiting, a flood is coming and they're and like she's, she uh, a wait. ship comes, and they're like, Sir, can we save you? No, God will save me. Right. So another thing comes, no, God will she's save like, me. Then they die and it. they get to the pearly gates and God's just like he, and then he goes, Why didn't you try to save me, God? And he goes, I sent you three ships. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm 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 with the survival. Yeah. Like get through the trials and tribulations and make it to the rapture. I know. I, yeah, I think I, the people around me would keep me going. But if I lose, like, my wife, my kids, my best friends. Yeah. You and would. I'm hanging out with people I don't like. You th that I mean, that's that's a lot of strength to keep going, honestly. Yeah. Like, a, a lot of people, I feel like, couldn't even make it through that. We were even talking about just uh, traveling alone. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We're, like, uh, just a buddy of ours just went to Japan by himself and um i was telling Heath like that's that's crazy that like you can go just to another country by yourself and just just try to experience everything without somebody by your side just just to even chat with mm -hmm. i feel like that just helps i think it's so good for you though like that soul searching being in another country alone going through all these like crazy life experiences not sharing it with somebody i feel like is very good for you know and not coming back and being like you have to talk about it to everybody that's like, yeah that's yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. Where i you would internalize yeah your own enjoyment it's so important like find out what you like yeah alone i think would be really good for you yeah have you ever ate, do you ever like go eat by yourself like yeah have you ever sat yeah. down at a restaurant eat by yourself i love that i've done i've done that many times uh, yeah when i'm like Patricia and I were like torn about like a restaurant. Like she's like, well, I don't want that. I don't want that. And I'm like, she's like, if you want to go eat somewhere, you can. I'm like, I can. She goes, yes, mm -hmm. go. I'm like, okay. Do, do it eat by myself. Do it and keep your phone in your pocket the whole time. Oh yeah. yeah. Oof. I don't know. <laughs> do That's it. a little tough. I, I got to kind of entertain like while I eat. Yeah. I definitely don't mind doing that for like, I could do that for most of the day. I could do it for a whole day. That's fine. But I think it's just like, tr like get leaving the country or leaving this. I think that's just like. Yeah, you gotta. It's kind of fun sharing it with somebody. Yeah, just any. Honestly, just anybody. Just to like, kind of. I think because we're in relationships, like obviously, like now I would want to share it with Mariah, but if I was single, yeah, I that's think it good. would. Like, I think that would be so good for somebody. Yes. To like go do a trip alone, go travel somewhere, and it will be difficult. It would be hard. It would be, I'm sure, stressful and frustrating at times. But I think the lessons, like that you take out of a trip like that would be so beneficial as a person. Heath, you know what that is? Type two fun. Yeah. 100% type two fun. The whole time you're just sitting there, you're just like, I think I'm enjoying I think this. You would just, and then you're like, I think I, you would learn a lot about yourself, what you like, what you don't like. Just. Yeah. How to be single. That's like the end of the movie of how to be single. when like Dakota Johnson goes up on that mountaintop and she like has a whole monologue about it's important for you being alone, understanding what you like, adventuring it for yourself, I'm alone and internalizing it. It's good. <laughs> what do you like? What do I like? Yeah, what what and, do you like that you could go enjoy by yourself? Um, by myself. Like I like going to the movies by myself. I, I, I love just not having to wait around for someone else to be like, well, this, this person, will they like it? I don't know. Sometimes I hate going to movies with someone and just being like, are they enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying it? I just like going by myself. Uh, my time. I think just like <clears throat> work, like getting work done and errands. Like, so errands, like I don't, I never mind doing that by myself. <laughs> I can't think of, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Matt. Errands. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. errands, work, anything work related. No, no, I want to no, do nothing, by myself. Like outside of like, if you went on vacation, like what would be entertainment? Yeah, what would you like? What do you enjoy doing? Like, um, like a hobby or like? I mean, you fucking you travel. What do you really do? You just you, you either hike, you walk Can around. You hike by yourself? Do you ever go hike by yourself? I've done it before. Yeah, oh, okay. but like it's, I do it because I just I just need to do it. Like I need to hike. I need to mm -hmm. work out. Um. 
But like, if I were to travel by myself and try to do it, I would, I honestly, I, I would walk around and I'll just be like, uh, mm. I'm sure it would be more fun with people, but yeah. Like to, to me, to me, like going outside, unless I have to do it, then I'd rather just wait to go with somebody and do it. There's a lot of like mundane that I want to go explore that for like some other people would be like, I'm not going to that. Like I want to go to Fargo, North Dakota. I want to go like just out there and like go into a random bar and just see mm -hmm. what those types of people are like. I want to yeah. go to the mall of America. I want to go see Minnesota. I want to go to all these like, yeah, liminal spaces in the world and just make sense just of pop it. Pop up in like Boise, Idaho yeah. and just see what's yes. going on. I want to go to Boise. Yeah, really I want to go, like I get jealous when like you see people like, we're going on tour and they're going to all those places. I'm yeah. like, I would love to go to that so, random little like, town. To, to me, because you're getting work done, that is a perfect opportunity by myself. If I was like by myself and I was on tour by myself, I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Because I am getting something done along with it. But I don't know. You can that's make a good perfect, content. That's a going perfect example, to, though, of how that would be fun for me. Yeah. Or like there was a guy who like, I'm going to every Rainforest Cafe in the entire country. I'm like, that sounds kind of fun. Like you're go, like you're on there for a mission to make content, but you're going to all these weird, crazy Monday That's places. crazy because they all look exactly the same. Well, I mean, every Rainforest Cafe is a little bit different. But I know, but your experience at them yeah. is different. That, though, does sound fun because sometimes, like, when there are places that are too popular or everyone's just like, oh, you got, like, Paris. I still have never been to Paris. Been to France many times. But, like, I don't I don't really care. I don't fucking care about seeing the Eiffel Tower. I want to go see some other the weird nooks and shit. crannies that nobody, yeah. like, has Because I seen. feel yeah. like I'm eventually going to see it. It's going to find me. Like, I'll never buy tickets to a Snoop Dogg concert. But sure enough, Snoop Dogg will find you. Yeah. You're going to be in a situation where Snoop Dogg's going to be performing at some exactly. club. And you're going to be like, it's happening. You, you got to go in a little... Weird mini I've, ne quests. I've never liked touristy shit. I think it's so fun to just like go with a local somewhere and they just show you all the all the spots that like nobody knows about. Yes. Or you're, like you want to walk into somewhere and you don't want to be with a bunch of tourists, people that are not from the country or that you're like visiting. You want to just be you wanna, surrounded. You want to see what the culture and the place exactly. is. You don't want to see people from all over in a area. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a place that we went to where it was just like you just saw it. Just, it was just Americans everywhere. Literally, it was. It felt like walking into a Sawgrass Mall. Mykon where, Mykonos was like that. Mykonos was just yeah all tourists. I felt like it was like no, nothing else but just Mykonos just felt like an island off of California. Yeah, like a yeah. really expensive island. <clears throat> Did Japan not feel like that? No, Japan felt like that. Oh, okay. No, no, oh. I fuck. I barely. I think about the Golden Guy, that area with all those <laughs> tiny oh, little bars. I, I think about it. it once a day. Like that. Wait, say that again. The golden area that guy. had all the tiny little bars that were only oh, the, yeah, the yeah, golden yeah. guy. I, that area. I wish that area just I could go to it every. Every day. time I think of Japan, that's the first place I think about too. Is just that. Oh alleyway. yeah, that was amazing. Just, I wish tiny I could have little bars. The yes. Bars are not, not as big as that couch. It's just. It was so felt cool. Yeah, I loved that place. I really want to go. There. I know, Patricia. We really want to go to Korea, though. But Korea is like still kind of different, but it does look cool. I think I think having a ch having the chance to like visit every country, every point. country, just fun. Every I don't know. If you got someone to do it with, and you, if you have the time, yeah. The thing is, though, I'll admit, and I know myself, I'm a bit of a snob. There are certain places where I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. uh this is not for me. I'm out of here because yeah. some places you got to rough it. I need AC. I oh, need you would ice, love, I you need would love ice, Singapore. I need ice water. Like there are times where I would get a little irritable, but mm -hmm. if it's for you, it's for you. Honestly, that's after, after Singapore, I would, I don't want to be anywhere that like is not like has, or doesn't. That's hot. Yeah. It's just, that was brutal. Like we were getting sick. Have you ever been sick? Cause it was so hot outside. No, but there's nothing that I hate <clears throat> more than sweating and being like hot when I don't want to be just 24 seven. If I'm seven. working out and I'm sweating. Awesome. Yeah. I'm working for it, baby. Yeah. But like when I want to be comfortable in a climate and I'm hot and th there is no getting away from it, boy, I get irritable. No Woo! way. Yeah. No way. I could do, I could do <clears throat> heat as long as it's not humid. Like Arizona brutal temperatures yeah but i'm but it's not doable but i'm not sweating in it i'm not walking through 
A, you know what I hate? A hot cloud. Or this time of year, you're like, oh, we're going to a little thing. Maybe I should put on a sweater because it's swe it's sweater season. And then you get to the fucking party and it's too fucking hot and you got to take off the damn sweater. I love being like putting on the outfit and it's perfect. That you can wear the fucking outfit to wherever it you, is you're you going. You never do a backup shirt under it where it I looks good. I do have good. the backup shirt, but it's not even that fun wearing the damn backup yeah. shirt. I just <laughs> hate like layers and then you can't wear the layers in the place that you're going to yeah. this time of year. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm like hopefully the AC is good where I'm going. And I'm not saying I'm putting on too many layers. Yeah. But like this, I put on this today. I'm like hopefully the room's nice and cool. Yeah, usually it isn't, it's I'm for me it's the it. outer that's like the shitty thing and then under I always come prepared because I know I'm going to get Cuz next thing you know I'm walking the streets <laughs> with like another sweater wrapped around my my waist. Hey, it's trendy though. Like a freaking hula it's, skirt. It's very Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I guess. It's just I don't know. You want a Jordan almond? Um oh, can we look at that house? Uh What house? Look, there was a house that was on like a TikTok of people were just like Going, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a, like a Zillow catastrophe one. Oh yes, yes I'll see it. Let's oh, go. we no, haven't done one of these in a long let's time. Rip this. this was one I had it like I love a good cringy Zillow catastrophe. This was one where I was like, what the hell is this? All right, so okay. this is the house. This is the house. Let's go full screen, baby. All right, the price is at nine hundred and fifty six thousand dollars, and it looks like a it looks like a typical like I don't know how to describe it like a it has this kind of like red barn color on the outside why, wait, why little does it balcony, look like just kind like of a um, standard country it kind of looks like a high like a, a high school portable yes on the side it, yeah that's what it reminded me of um plantation middle so it just looks like you know it, it looks middle. like a, it looks like a house in the in Mid middle america yeah yeah. yeah yeah okay and then you walk in through the front door oh, Hot hell tub at the no. front door and we walk in <laughs> no hell no and there's already a jacuzzi there what? in the floor and then these stairs that go up to a tiny little like nook balcony in the living room you know that shit stank Are there, oh is that, my god and there's fish on the wall well you know because it's like the pool area obviously it's the spa and, bro and that's right. is that the front door right there yes that's what that's the main living room is oh. already a jacuzzi <laughs> And then okay. we go, and we go down, downstairs. We got, you know, like a kind of a movie theater. We got grandma oh my God. reading okay. her book. I, this is a cute room. This, uh, this doesn't look too strange to me. And then okay, we, we're getting and the then, no, and they go back, go back in the bedroom over there in the corner. We got it looks a like a cruise. We got a dryer. Already. It looks, it looks like a <laughs> Oh my God. I didn't see that. Oh, <laughs> is that a body hanging? Is that an arm right there? I think so. No, I think that's someone standing there waiting for and you got carpet like on top of like the dresser too. Oh, my parents do that. They put towels down on top of dressers. I don't know why. My, my, my grandparents do that too. It's for the noise. It's for the noise. It's like setting things down. Maybe. Oh, really? I don't know. And then we got and then we got now the washer yeah. in the bathroom. They it's connected to the water from the. Hold oh, on. So what kind of mirror is that above the the sink <laughs> where it's like? <laughs> Look at the light and then the mirror. Wait, what? what? Oh, oh. I, dude, okay. no bathtub should be that color. It makes it like- Was it, it just, originally white and it turns that yellow? No, no, I think it I think it was yellow. Because it, 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 it's all yellow but like no, that. that's how like- Like computers, I, like old computers- Will turn will yellow. Just look yellow After now. it gets like exposed to like too much oxygen, it does like change colors. Maybe uh. that is it. Yo, this place is just, this is like a liminal space. Like it truly- Is that thing is 7,000 square feet. Why is this so small in here? Is that half a bucket? Hanging on the wall, just quirky. Oh, this look. This is getting a serial killer. Oh, this is crazy. Yes. Oh God, like he like he built this for his victims. Oh, it hurts my head. Like looking <laughs> at it, it's just everything. Oh my God, oh, I kind of like this room. <laughs> it seems like everything just like peaked in like 1989, and then they. Oh, look at this color combo. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not gonna and look at that. Look, is that a the, microwave in between the two chairs? Yes. Like who's that's a, that's that, a toaster? Zane, that's something we would do though. We would put yeah, a microwave. Right, it's right, coffee right, tall, just, right. <laughs> just popping popcorn. I'm not gonna lie, that room, Matt. If you went to me and you said, "Okay, we want something like blue and purple, like make it like funky, make it cool," that's probably what I would do. Like just have no, I have no <laughs> sense of just what looks good. There's a mini golf course in the backyard, and I do think that it used to be like. And lockers? there's a locker room. 
What is that? A full basketball court? Dude, that looks like medieval this times. This definitely like a rec center. Or it's like, like a daycare. Like a yeah. YMCA a, or like whatever. Like a recreational like yeah. home, but it is just the saddest, most depressing thing. And oh then we got that in the backyard. Oh my God. Is that a mini, <laughs> mini golf course? Dude, that's the biggest one I've ever... This was somebody that had a property and was like, I'm going to start a business. We're going to do it from here, babe. <laughs> and they got this massive slide in it. I don't know. I guess if all of that must come with the house. God, yeah, this was a school or something. Like this, this doesn't make sense. This is like if Michael Jackson didn't have money <laughs> and wanted to build Never Never Land on a budget. Yeah. Is Never Never Land still around? Or the actual like is that how far is that from here? I don't know. I don't have no idea. It's in California, right? I think so. You know what? I remember I remember actually looking it up on Google Maps and it was like out out a ways. Yeah. You know, it, I think though like a startup bought it, like or something. They use it as like their company's like retreat headquarters now, which is insane. Los Olivos. Sycamore but Valley Ranch. It's in Santa is Barbara the, County. Okay. Wow. Yo, who fucking bought that? That's and that's where he lived? Or is that was that just like one of his properties? That was his escape. Now, Heath, I'm talking about like where he lived. Is that where he lived? I bet I bet he had multiple properties. It's probably like the where his like fun place was. He fun wanted place. just to get away from all the hubbub of LA. Mm. Park oh look, ride. there's your carousel that you want in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start, I guess, Matt. Wait, Matt, we found a wedding venue on the East Coast where there's a carousel inside. In the venue. In the yeah, venue. Yeah, it's really like, cool. Do, like, the are, and like, the, all the wedding party is like sitting on it. It, go it goes. It's Fun. really cool. There was like cool pictures of people at the wedding like on the carousel. How, how big? Was it like a good size? Yeah, it was a regular size one. When people get married, like how long do they wait till... They get married again. Don't they do like a second? <gasps> How cool! Wedding? Um, you're saying when you want to renew your vows? Renew your vows. Yeah. My, my is that like a thing that every couple does, or no. is it? My no. my grandparents did it on their 60th anniversary. It's just for fun. It's kind of like a yeah. It's just like you've been together and you want to like renew them and show you're still committed still to each committed other. And you love each other. It's just like a, a damn. Cute thing to if do. The, if a couple's willing to do it again, that means they're going strong. But then I don't know. Another I wedding. Some couples who've gotten it done, and it seems like they needed to get it done. Like, really? Why? I don't know. Oh, my. <laughs> the Please Touch Museum. That's what it was. But it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. It's Touch unique. Museum? Everybody would remember that. Every, yeah. They certainly would. It's very memorable. And then there's just one one Cassie at every wedding. Just and then some drunk <laughs> uncle gets messed up and falls off the carousel horse. Yeah. And oh. Then oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. No. You know what I want in the middle of the the wedding? You know the the one that spins around and like what is it a tilt a whirl that goes like this and it's got the 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 workers running in the middle and they'll jump. And be oh, like up right. in the air and like come back down on the other side. Yes, I've seen those. And I've seen those with like La La Rona in like the middle or like yeah. the nun. Like I've seen those in Mexico. Like, like you know the ones that like it's not a Gravitron, but it's almost like a big kind of sombrero. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, in the little. middle. The, what? Why do they have that one person in the middle? That's it's, just it's their worker there. and then they'll like jump. But why, or why are they wearing that? It's not Halloween. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll stand in the middle of that. The most I've seen of nuns was from Grounded for Life. What's Grounded for Life? You, you never watched Grounded for Grounded Life? Grounded for Life was a good show. That was one never of got the best shows ever created. I loved Matt, that you don't show. remember that show? No, I have no memory of Really? Show. Grounded for Life. Zane was Uncle Eddie. Yeah, I was. They were in Staten Island, right? Was it only on for like one season? No, oh, no. It was on seasons. for a long time. I did the I did the AI trend on TikTok. You know how like they show a picture and then it blows it up. Yeah, oh, where <laughs> like it expands it. It, it shows it, it, everything. It, it, it generative it, fills. It expands it. Look what it did with this picture. Okay. Oh <laughs> my god. Can you airdrop it to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that looks. I don't know if I want to see what it did to that picture. <laughs> it's when you got your belly button pierced and then. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Weird. Is it really easy to do that? Like it, it, it does it in like 
15 seconds. Whoa. I don't understand. Wait, how did it know the rest of all of our faces in that picture? The picture went from the top of Scott's head to the bottom of Todd's uh, uh, mouth. It, AI generated the oh. rest. AI generated like Todd's arm, his rest of his shirt, my my pants, my jeans, <laughs> the, the belly, everything. That's crazy. Wow. It's unsettling. That's pretty good. It's scary. AI is too much. How do you create AI? Like I, I just don't get it. How do you? How like did they create it? Because they're sifting through all these other images that look like that, and then they source whatever that I know, is. No, but just how do you create that fucking system? It's, it doesn't make sense. I know it baffles me. Apparently, AI recently just uh did eight hundred years of research on like organic compounds if this makes sense like what would have taken 800 years for scientists to go through and identify compounds that like how we make plastic that yeah. took forever for us to discover plastic it, it an ai just went through um 800 like years of research oh, so jeez um, so basically Google's DeepMind just announced the genome project, which used AI to discover 2.2 million new materials, including 380,000 stable materials that could power future technologies. So like the AI just discovered these new compounds that we can use as alternatives for all the stuff we have used. That's crazy. Yeah. That is where... This like, people are like going. This is what we really should be freaking out about: is that we just figured out all of these new advancements in uh, science and technology. It's like exponential growth. That's where they said like the AI would eventually, once the AI right. like, accelerates it to this next point, it just happened. All right, and that's all we have, folks. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Zane and Heath Unfiltered. You can check out these episodes yeah. every Monday, audio form on all the podcast apps. And platforms, Ugh. and then you can check out the video form of these videos or episodes on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Also, make sure to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We do early access to all these episodes. Mm -hmm. You get it a few days early, all ad-free. We also do a bonus episode every single month, and Mariah's in those. So if you want to check out more Mariah's, make sure to do that. We also have a live Q&A every month. We bring people on to chat, hang out, answer questions. Uh, and then we also... The cat got your tongue? Dean got your tongue? I'm trying to think. Also, stop talking shit about me not having shoes on. I like not having Do shoes people on. People talk shit about my, me not Both having shoes Both of us. On? They don't no. like that we're not wearing well, shoes like he. It's more comfortable. Like They say it's not professional. But um, we're in my house and in my bedroom. So we, that was unprofessional. That should have been on silent. But yeah, we, like, we don't like wearing shoes. It's comfy. And the rug is really nice. Mariah spent a lot of time finding, trying to find this carpet. And I want to feel it. So... I found the road. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, all right. Anyway. Love you guys so much. We'll see you unwinders in about five seconds. Oh, Ooh. that's what it is. It's we keep intense. these cameras rolling. Oh. You get extended episodes of the podcast. We just keep hanging out. It's, you know, it's a good time. So yeah, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Beautiful. All right. Peace. Peace. And blessings, y'all. Mm.